Doing... Good morning and thank you for tuning back into Novice Explorer Radio. It's Sunday the 7th of July. It's time for the explorers to get moving as they're heading towards Mount Snowdon. Yes, Colin, it's going to be a sweaty one over the next few days. They may even need to take a dip to cool off. Have they bitten off more than they can chew with taking on one of the highest peaks in Wales? We'll find out as they continue on their journey. So we have moved on from our last camp spot and we are now in Lamberis next to Lin Padan, which is the lake behind us. So here, we're a very short drive away from the foot of Mount Snowdon. We were blown away by the scenery and were shocked that we hadn't heard of this place before. Here we go. Oh, is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is just stay out for a little longer, enjoy what is left of this evening and have an early sleep. Yeah. Look at that. Come on, Glorious. During the daytime, the car park was full of families, kayakers and paddleboarders. But by 7pm, the car park cleared out, leaving only a handful of motorhomes behind. There is also a toilet block on site, but these close around tea time, so you can't rely on those too much. We spent our first evening here enjoying the setting sun, walking along the lakeside, and trying to spot which peak in the distance was snowed. We felt comfortable here and had a great night's sleep. Good morning. So after a fairly early start for us and a short drive, we find ourselves in a semi-deserted uh, car park at the foot of Snowdon. All of the websites we checked said get here early, which we have. Um, so we've, we've secured a spot, but um, it's not as busy as we thought it possibly could be because we are doing a semi-popular path. So we are finally on the walk and it is turning into another beautiful day. I don't know if you can see Meg somewhere there in the background is already taking a jumper off because it's getting quite hot and we're like a kilometre into the walk. <laughs> There's a long way to go yet. This hike is supposed to take about six hours and it was quarter to nine when we set off so let's see how we do and we also checked the weather forecast and it's supposed to rain, light rain at three o'clock. Light rain now. But I hope that you give me one chance to make you mine. When I close, close. I've had my first outfit change. They call me Mariah of the Mountains. Well, that's funny because I'm thinking you look a little bit more like David Attenborough. That's nice of you. <laughs> it's the sun. Yeah, I don't think Mariah Carey would wear shorts tucked into a t-shirt or walking boots and socks in her life. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I make a scene? Would I not make you mine again? All I ever need. Excuse my very sweaty back here, but I'd like to say thank you to my dad, Stuart and Marie for creating these personalised t-shirts for Cal and I as a departing gift. We hope they last the duration of the trip, so keep an eye out for them in future videos. So we are refueled and ready to go. That roughly somewhere is yeah. the path <laughs> that we'll be taking. It's quite steep. Mm. Across that ridge, and then that's a bit of a better view of the summit. Don't worry, Mom. Many people have done this before we have. Don't shy your pants. <sighs> the majority of the hike was pretty straightforward, albeit an uphill slog. 
However, as we got closer to the summit, it became more interesting and the views were absolutely amazing. Yeah? Hi. Are you recording? Of course not. The summit was incredible. At 1,085 metres above sea level, there was a cafe and toilets. These were for the walkers and the guests that arrived via the mountain train. Even though it was a Monday, it was very busy. We started descending back down to find a quiet spot for lunch. And what a spot we found. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? Mm. Always. <laughs> There's always someone after my food. <coughs> Naughty boy. Naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just stopped for lunch and now it's time to descend. Yeah, jumpers are back on. It's gone a little bit cloudy and not so hot as it was before. No, I think obviously you, you would have seen a lot of footage by now, so we'll just zip down. Next time you see us, we'll probably be back at the uh, van, hopefully. But we have just had lunch, as we said, in one of the most epic places we've ever had lunch. <laughs> we've decided that epic lunch spots are now our new thing, so stay tuned for more. Hey, we finally made it to the bottom. Uh, didn't take too long, but I think we're definitely going to feel that one tomorrow because it's a bit jarring on the old knees. So tonight I think we'll be heading back to pretty much the same spot we were last night, maybe slightly different because there was some loud noises, although it didn't disturb me much. Or Meg, we're pretty heavy sleepers, but we're going to go back roughly in the same area because we know what the deal is there. Then I think uh, over the next couple of days we're going to wind our way north England a little bit, yeah. Head towards the Lake District, probably making one stop on the way. Oh. <laughs> so here. <laughs> Caught I'm the sun a bit. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's a bit orange. So we are fresh out of the lake. Meg had a better swim than I did because I uh, froze to death. Almost. It's really not that cold when you do your best and get it quick, which you didn't. Know. We weren't going for a leisurely swim. We were going for our first wild sort of bath. And that's what I did. Just in case you wanted to know, we're using ecological shower gel that's all right for the environment. Yeah. It wasn't so bad, but we're both absolutely knackered, so I feel a bit refreshed, but it's time for some food and getting some stuff done. Edit some photos maybe from yeah. today, because we've got some cold snaps and then... Early night. Food. Early night tonight too. I'm tired. My legs are going to feed it tomorrow. Mm. But it'll be a bit more of a casual, slow day tomorrow, hopefully. Don't know what's on the agenda exactly yet, but I'm sure we'll soon find out. Join us on our next episode as we bid farewell to Wales and seek new adventures in the Lake District. Feel free to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.